My aim is to look more plastic than human. I would describe my looks as bimbo doll. I always wanted to look like a plastic Barbie. I haven't seen my family for many years. They do not support me pursuing my bimbo identity. There are so many words that my family have used to describe my look. I have been told I am an abomination. I look like a Today I am meeting my cousin for the first time in five years. Oh, wow. It usually takes me about an hour to get ready. I always find it very important to make my lips a focal point and eyelashes. Everything big and over the top. Hi, I'm Dolly Mix and I'm 29 years old. My aim is to look more plastic than human. I've had two breast augmentations. I have also had Botox, about six, seven millilitres of lip filler and threads, helio threads, um, lift and tighten. So I'm holding um, my 520cc silicon breast implants. So I had these out in March and I had new ones in straight after. I have about double this now in each side, but I got to keep these. It's like a little trophy and they're quite fun stress balls. <laughs> I reckon I've spent about 15,000 pounds so far. I would describe my looks as bimbo doll. When I hear people call me a bimbo as an insult, it actually makes me feel more empowered and driven to change the dictionary definition, which is so outdated. Bimbo has been a derogatory term for a very long time. For me, it's more of owning your sexuality and expressing that really visually. <laughs> I don't mind that it's got a history of being derogatory. I think that in the world we live in today, it's amazing that I get the choice to own it. As a child, I was quite introverted, shy, and lived in my head. I was quite creative. Um, I loved art. I loved fashion. I would spend a lot of time in the attic with my Barbies and create little worlds for them. My parents, especially my father, didn't agree with what I wanted to do and be. My dad didn't hold any value for the arts or of being a creative. There wasn't really any room for me to go off and explore these avenues. He made it very hard for me to do all the courses and things that I wanted to do. My family's plan for me as their only daughter was to be married and have lots of babies. So my bloodline is very important um, to them. It's quite old and, go and goes quite far back into the royal family. He would constantly, relentlessly, <laughs> try and set me up with wealthy landowners' sons. I really didn't like that at all. I haven't seen my family for many years. They do not support me being myself and pursuing my bimbo identity. When I was younger, I spent a lot of time bringing my brothers up. I wish that they had the same views on the world as me or just accepting of me. There are so many words that my family have used to describe my look. I have been told I look disgusting, I am an abomination, I look like a This is a crop top which I designed it's about celebrating your own bimbo girls and your own journey. I started 
Instagram in lockdown. I kind of wanted to come out to the world. I've always been a bimbo in my social circle and it's kind of grown from there. I moved to London about eight, nine years ago. It has been the best decision I've ever made. I felt like I could be more myself, embrace more of the bimbo lifestyle and finding a community. I haven't seen my family for many years. Later today, I'm going to meet my cousin, Carly, um, who I haven't seen in five years now. Growing up, I wasn't really allowed to hang out with Carly much. My father would always say she's a bad influence on me. <laughs> we managed here and there to hang out and that was always amazing. If meeting up with Carly today goes well, I think that it would be lovely to see her again. It would be nice to feel like I can connect with a member of my extended family. It would give me a little bit of reassurance. I'm feeling a bit nervous about today, so I'm going to give my friend Jessie from the Bimbo community a call and let her know that I'm going to be meeting my cousin. She's had a difficult time being accepted. Hopefully she can reassure me a bit. Hey Jessie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I'm really nervous today. I'm going to go meet my cousin and I haven't seen her in five years. Oh wow, then you've changed a lot, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just knows the old me. You think you're overthinking the whole situation? Just act like it's like a regular meeting with a friend. What if it doesn't go well? If it doesn't go great, but like, hey, it's too much for me okay. and you're going. Thank you, babe. I really appreciate that. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, perfect. See you. Mm. Have a lot of fun. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm sure she will recognise me, but I'm sure she will also be surprised. She was always quite made up, very well presented, fairly glam. I don't know what the changes she's had, so it'll be interesting to see how she looks now. If Carly says something negative today, it would be a shame and it would be sad. Not what I thought. Oh, so good to see you. Oh, what did you think? That was <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> wow. You look amazing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Are you as long as you're happy? You. I'm, I'm really, really happy. happy. I almost feel like crying. I was really worried about what you think. No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I think you look beautiful. Thank okay. You. I still see Dolly exactly how I've always known her. Aww. So. You know, even with the change. I'll always be me inside. You've got your still, eyes. You've still got your eyes. My eyes. You've still got your eyes. You've still got the slightly naughty eyes. <laughs> naughty I love it. eyes. Mm. I was really nervous to meet you. I was really worried you'd um, have the same kind of reaction as the rest of the family and, yeah. and everything. <laughs> She's gonna cry. <laughs> I think that we always got on, and my parents always tried to stop us hanging out. Yeah. But Sometimes we find a way to yeah, no. misbehave. I know. <laughs> I think it's just the way parents are because you're not conforming to the way they were brought up. And don't forget, their generation was so more strict and hard. And you just weren't allowed to be you. You weren't allowed to have an opinion. Whereas now we can and you can be yourself and it's great. So just push the boundaries, do, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's really nice to do more. Yeah. Good. Let's do it. Yeah. Good. That'll be lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that this is amazing um, and it's perfect to reconnect with Carly but it doesn't change how I feel about my immediate family, no. This reunion came at a really good time. It just felt, it felt natural, it felt normal, it felt lovely. And I think that we will see each other again, so that that would be great. The person I am today is really happy. I feel really lucky to be able to live my truth so authentically. 
I would say to my younger self that nothing worth fighting for ever came easy. For me, it is part of my identity. It is ultra feminine. It is embracing my sexuality and wearing it on my outside like armor. 